y'all and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello hi my name is Sashina and in today's productive maintenance vlog we're getting ourselves together well I'm getting myself together y'all can do what y'all want to do but I'm getting myself together starting with my hair I try to wash my hair weekly and it's definitely time to wash it when I take this bonnet off you'll see what the real issue is I also need to get my nails done here is a close-up of what my nails look like really crusty I know grown out hair nails brows girl these brows they're connecting to my hairline at this point and it's a little bit embarrassing because my friend called me out on it I don't know she asked me what's the difference between my hairline and my eyebrows and that's when I knew for a fact I need to get myself together. I really want to try this new sugar wax that I got. I actually have a bunch of new products that I'm going to show you that I'm excited to try in today's video. So if you are interested, um, stay tuned. Starting with the hard part, okay? Y'all, don't, not too much. Please, not too much. I did a wash and go maybe a week, a week ago, yeah. And it's still looking like this. So I got some new products to try. Hopefully it's gonna extend my wash and go and not have it looking like this every week. The shampoo I'm going to use is the Quench It Shampoo by Mohair Girl Hair. And then I have the Creamy Aloe Shampoo and the Conditioner by ORS. Here is where the new products come in, all right? This is the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator by Uncle Funky's daughter. I've heard nothing but good things about this. And I also have the Innocence I Create Whole Gel with a Tangle Teaser. These three products are supposed to be at the start of the show. My roommate put me on, that's what she uses, and I love her hair, so hopefully it works for me. But the biggest investment for my hair, boom. I got the pattern blow dryer. I was going to get it during the Sephora sale, but I didn't know if it was me wanting to buy it because it was on sale or because I genuinely want it. And I feel like if you would buy it like full purchase, then it's definitely worth the investment. I should have gotten it then. But who cares? I have it now. My goal for 2024, one of them, is to have healthy, natural hair. So that involves washing it weekly, make sure it's hydrated, and having the right products is all a part of that. So let me hop in the shower, use the shampoo, and I'm going to get back and we can style it together. <music> done washing my hair and I put some of the conditioner in it is it damaged I don't know why it's like there or like why my hair is puffy is it because I'm a little porosity it's just a lot of stuff about my hair I don't know um and I also know I need a trim so that's the one thing I do know about my hair um so while the conditioner is in I'm gonna try to detangle it a little bit and then have some lunch because if I don't get lunch now I'm gonna have to stop in between styling to eat Y'all see that night? That means I definitely need a trim. Okay, look. Pause, your lunch is... <sighs> Today's lunch is brought to you by Poppy. This is the raspberry rose flavor. And I'm also trying to like eat more protein. So I got these frozen... <clears throat> Y'all don't make fun of me. But I got these frozen turkey burgers. This is the sweet onion seasoned butter ball. I'm not saying they're the most delicious thing, but when you need a quick little burger that has like protein and stuff, I'm just saying. I'm also gonna sit down somewhere and pay my light bill because I don't wanna be late. Like this is my first time paying the bill. And she said like there would be no late fees or like no extra fees as long as I pay on time. So I need to pay on time. Yes yes food ate bills are paid the hair is rinsed and i need to go ahead and style it before before it gets too late because i really want to go to the gym after this too but we're not gonna talk about that and my tangle tees starting from the roots i mean starting from the ends to the roots <laughs> looks like after my entire new routine i really do like it i hope that it's going to last through the gym and through the night so i'm gonna come back tomorrow and show you guys what it looks like and then we can start on the rest of the stuff 
let me check my hair i don't have my camera so i'm filming on my phone right now and it's on four percent so we're gonna make this quick this is the hair like two days after it's not the next day hair it's the day after next this is this is what i want okay this is the hold that i was trying to get with the mousse and i don't understand why why i would do that but i need to go get some oil so like it can break the gel cast it's a, she a little crunchy she is a little crunchy and you can tell that she's crunchy but that's okay because as soon as i get the oil and like really work it in it should soften up phone on four percent hair update nails i am here to get my nails done um but the problem is the shop opens at 9 30 and it's currently 8 30 so we're gonna waste some time by eating some breakfast and getting a coffee and like do a little work girl i don't know what i'm gonna do for an hour but i have to wait for an hour like i have no choice but to wait so we're just gonna find something to fill in the time with so we have good news and bad news the good news is i did get my nails done they look really pretty really simple i love them okay bad news y'all i'm not sure how, i'm not sure how i feel about the eyebrows like they are thin but one is like clearly thinner than the other so at this point i feel like i just need to like suck it up and learn to do my brows myself since i i know how i want them but i just need to practice on them myself so i can do it without like depending on another person to do it or just stop trying new people as far as waxing i do want to go ahead and wax um wax this kit oh <laughs> no wax my underarms so we're at walmart to get the powder and if the wax doesn't work for my face there are these strips that i like to get so let me go in here and see if i can find it back from walmart and i'm back on my camera so maybe y'all can like really get into my eyebrows and see what i'm talking about you see how this is a little thin right here i am a bald eyebrow so maybe that's why it looks like that you can see the before and after yourself do what you want but yeah maybe just take me a little time to get used to them do i look crazy y'all do i look crazy too much look crazy or not anyway these are the wax strips that i got this is the salad henson wax strips i got some baby powder okay some pure cornstarch baby powder because i do plan on using the sugar wax and i want my body to like get hot and sweaty and the wax not work so i got that and then last you know how i said i did my hair but i need a uh, an oil to like break the gel mold to it this is what I end up getting, okay? This is the Carol Daughters. Carol's Daughter Born to Repair. It's a reviving oil of shea butter and babasu oil. Girl, I don't know what it says, but this, I'm gonna try this later, okay? Let's focus on the waxing. Here is the wax kit in question. This is a Sugar Dough Pits to Pubes sugaring kit. It's supposed to be like a gentle alternative to waxing. I keep saying wax, but I should have been saying sugaring this entire time. Um, here's what it looks like. This is the firm. Yeah, it's firm. So I could use it for face and body. Well, did I really need? These are just backup. Okay, let's not talk about it. And then it also comes with uh, tools and instruction. Oh, I'm so excited. I didn't show y'all the nails. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, y'all. Here are the nails. I just got something really basic, something really simple. But I do really love my nails. I wanted something simple, something cute, something very, something very Tashina. Okay, let's start off with something familiar. We're gonna start off with the armpit, nothing too crazy. Yes, my armpit is dark. That's not what we're here for, okay? We're here for the hair. Um, It's very sparse, but it is grown out, and this does look like more than a fourth, so it's safe to continue. Heat up dough if needed or knead dough, and then choose a technique. My space is prepped and it's cleansed. Apply a prep me powder. That's where this um, baby powder is gonna come into play. This cornstarch baby powder. Now I did practice this a little bit off camera. Like I practiced on my arm just so I could get the hang of how to work it and, and like how to knead the fucking sugar. It doesn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. Like as long as the sugar is like moldable and warm enough to like actually move, it's not gonna hurt as much. It's definitely not hurting as much. And it's also taking me longer because I don't wanna get my nails dirty or get it like stuck to my nails. It's not gonna take this long, you know, if you know what you're doing, if you don't have nails on. Ah, okay, 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 okay. 
Okay, my hair is going down, so I need to like pull it up. I need to pull it up. Ah! Mmm, <sighs> there it is. <laughs> it's getting a little warm, huh? Wow, do I need more? I don't need more. I just need to finish. And then at the top, since it's growing up, I'm going to do it in the opposite direction and go down. <sighs> okay, I this looks really gross. Okay, it's full of hair, but I'm going to see if I can go ahead and do my other arm. Um, I just got done. Is it completely smooth? No, I think I just need to work on like my flicking technique. We'll just wax in general to make sure I get the entire hair and not like rip it, like just rip it off at the base, like get the whole follicle out. This arm, unfortunately, I did start getting too hot. The sugar started to melt on me. There's just no going back. So this one, it is what it is. It is what it is and it's okay. I'll probably shave it again. Um, Now I just need to do my face. That's where I'm gonna use these ones. Now I just need to do my face. I do have a little peach fuzz going on, a little beard action going on. So that's what these are for. Uh, a finishing oil, okay, period. Let me do this right quick and I'm gonna come back and talk. left off I was doing my waxing and I'm happy with the results okay probably gonna be a minute before I try the sugar wax again but the results that I have I am not upset with it I think the real thing is just I need to get used to using the product that's it's just a learning curve there we I got my nails done but I did not show y'all getting my feet done because in my mind okay I don't want them doing my pedicure when they do my feet they end up so much rougher than what they were like before I went in so I'm gonna do my feet myself and I may go back I don't know maybe next week or something and then get my toes repainted but as far as my feet this is what I use Boom, I got this from Amazon, it is a foot file. I know that it's not the typical file that you're used to seeing. You're used to seeing the cheese grater and that's why my feet are rough, okay? This without fail, I wish I could show y'all. I don't wanna show y'all on camera because I don't want the wrong crowd finding these types of videos. I hope this actually felt like a vlog and not one of those like talk to videos. But most of the stuff is happening at home. Like I, I cannot help that. If you want to see more maintenance videos or more hair videos, like specifically hair videos, we can really get into that. You can go down below, hit the subscribe button, and then go right next to it, hit the bell, and turn on all post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload another video.